welcome to the Cooking with Amy's Kitchen Show. If you're looking for easy, delicious recipes that are budget friendly and are made with ingredients you most likely have at home, then you've come to the right place. Grab you some pen and paper and let's start cooking. Hi guys, in this video, I'm making a quick and easy chow mein that's gonna go great with any dish that you decide to make or if you're having Chinese night like we are. I've already made my Chinese lemon chicken and my sweet and sour chicken. If you guys would like to know how I made those, head on over to my page and give those videos a watch so you can recreate this entire meal at home. So I'm gonna get started on my sauce first and then we'll go to cooking the noodles and get all the good stuff done. All right, so I need a quarter cup of my soy sauce and I like to make my sauce first so that's out of the way. All right, let me grab my oyster sauce. I need two tablespoons of this good stuff. If you're allergic to shellfish, feel free to use hoisin. I would use about one tablespoon or one and a half, not two, just because it's a stronger taste, but it's a great substitute. And I'm using sake. If you don't want to, you can use chicken broth instead. So I'm gonna add two tablespoons and I'll put all the measurements at the end of the video. So don't worry, you guys will be able to get it just fine. All right, now you have an option. You can either use a sweet dark soy sauce, which is um, darker, a bit thicker, has a sweeter taste and it's not as salty or a gravy master. So it's totally up to you. I'm gonna use one teaspoon of my gravy master. I got that in there. And now I'm gonna add one teaspoon of my sesame oil, one teaspoon of light brown sugar, and two teaspoons of cornstarch. Get that in there. I cannot wait for you guys to make all this at home. So yummy. So I'm just gonna get this all whisked together. This takes a little bit of time because you just want that cornstarch to really break down. I've already put a pan on the stove for my noodles and I'm just bringing the water to um, a boil. I went ahead and salted that water. All right, sauce is all combined. Let me get all this cleaned off. I need to start doing my veggies. Gonna take a medium onion, give it a quick chop. You could do strips, you could do chunks, whatever you like, it's your kitchen. All right, I got that done. I've already washed my cabbage. I'm just using a wedge I had left over. So you just wanna use about a cup of cabbage and whatever vegetables you decide to throw into your chow mein, that's up to you. It's your home, it's your dish, have at it. Grab a plate to start putting some of these veggies. I'm gonna peel my carrot real quick, chop off the end. You can cut it julienne style or you could do like me and just give it a quick grate. No need to sit there and chop away. I'm all about how fast can I do it? My carrot's good to go. You'll need two to four cloves of garlic, depending on how much of a garlic lover you are. Um, if all you have is garlic powder, just throw that in there. Start out with about a teaspoon and you'll be all right. And I want to add just a few more vegetables into mine. Take a half a zucchini. I just washed it. And I'm just going to cut it down the middle and just give it a quick chop. So like half moon shape. I'm going to take some broccoli, just about a handful, give it a wash, and I'll use that as well. So now time for my noodles. I'm using this Chinese style lo mein noodles. So I'm gonna get them in the pan, let them boil. They only need to cook for about five to six minutes. Do not overcook these. 
it will be disastrous. If you've seen this video and you thought, oh my God, I wanna make this, but I don't have chow mein noodle or lo mein noodle, don't worry, grab you some good old spaghetti. It works just as well. So I'm gonna get these cooked and then once they're done, I'll strain them, get the pan all ready and we'll start putting together this chow mein. Noodles are done, I'm just gonna get them strained. Turn my heat on high and in a large pan or wok, add a couple tablespoons of oil. All right, so I'm gonna add my carrots, my zucchini and my onion. I'm gonna let this cook for a few minutes just until everything starts to soften. So it's been a few minutes. I'm gonna throw in that broccoli, just break it up. Give it a toss. Add in some water chestnuts. You can use the whole can. Give it a quick mix. Add in my garlic. And I wait until now to add the garlic just so it doesn't burn. Add in the cabbage. I'm gonna turn down the heat to medium. I'm gonna let this cook for about two minutes. Just until the cabbage starts to um, soften up a bit. So all my veggies are all nice and done. Smells so good. Start adding my noodles. I like to stick a bit. Grab some tongs and just start to breaking them up. And you want to cook them al dente because you still have to add your sauce and let that thicken up. So I'm just getting my sauce mixture in there. Start moving it around, making sure everyone gets some of that delicious sauce. This looks and smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. All right, so I got it all put together. I'm gonna grab some black pepper. Let's give a few shakes. All right, let me get this all plated and we're gonna put this entire meal together. All right, guys, so there's my chow mein. And when I tell you, man, it is so good. It is so good. Then I have my um, Chinese lemon chicken and my homemade sweet and sour chicken. And when I tell you guys, once you make this bad boy, there's no need to go to a Chinese restaurant anymore. I'm gonna get all this onto a plate and me and my family are gonna have us some good eating. As always, I thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and follow me on Facebook, adding you to your watch list so you don't miss out on any great recipes. I can also be found on YouTube now. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, hit notification button on, and you guys will be in business. Bye-bye.